All right. So I've actually it started raining outside uh, here. So I actually brought my uh, my uh, sketch inside. So I'll work on my line drawing inside. So I've got my value sketch that I did out in the garden. Uh, so looking at uh, the teapot sitting in that stump, I just did a quick little value sketch of it out there. Just kind of picking up my midtones, my darks, and some of my lights in my value sketch. This will give me a great little roadmap to work from um, when I start doing my painting. So I'm working on a 9 by 12 inch uh, on a watercolor block. These are 9 by 12. These are nice little travel uh, pads to work with. It's glued on all four sides. It just has a little opening here on this side that you can slip a knife blade into or a brush uh, end into it and then just uh, pull all around and you can uh, cut off the uh, top piece of paper and then you have a nice clean one ready to go. These are nice because they stay nice and flat because they're glued down on all four sides so your paper stays nice and flat as you paint. The camera to come into focus here. All right so I just want a really simple drawing on here just to kind of give me some a little bit of a roadmap to follow as I'm painting uh, just to give me some lines uh, so again I just kind of split my page page into thirds it's kind of just to kind of get my sense of my composition in here it's kind of where I want that big teapot sitting right in here I want it to be my main character it's kind of got a flat top on him opens up uh, this uh, spout just kind of comes up it's got a flat spot on it comes down again I don't have to be real accurate I just want kind of a representation of what's going on here just a colored teapot amongst the garden I've got some overlap of some of these foxglove leaves in here. There's some columbine leaves in here. Again, I kind of look for my uh, uh, my value sketch as well. I can just kind of draw some of those things in. Got that stump that kind of comes up and around. This one comes up in front of it. take my kneaded eraser uh, so see I just got a real light sketch there let's take my kneaded eraser and pull out some of these shapes here this one's got a little more pointy shape to it this one kind of wraps around now in the bigger picture of I had a, I had some uh, there's some tulips and stuff in there so I'm just gonna kind of create just some there's just gonna be some colored foliage kind of throughout this this watercolor a little bit here and I'm gonna make it just pretty rough it's all about the teapot um, in this drawing so uh, that's all I really need to worry about so long as I have a nice teapot shape in there a little bit more detail onto it this comes around I can just see just the inside of it just a little bit there handle a little bit and then I can see just the top of the opening here on this spout edge of these fox are kind of ribbony they're not quite so smooth I've got these kind of the same size I'm gonna run this one off the page so I kind of start looking for balance you know if it bounds out my my sketch a little bit. This guy's in the main spot. I'm going to put some colored uh, flowers down in here. Some more of the uh, bark coming off. These uh, foliage shapes just kind of have ruffled edges on them. Let's kind of start picking up a few of those little things. These ruffled edges. Just so, so I know that this is all foliage in here. That's all I really need. Put some veins on that as we in like kind of kind of curling these those leaves over a little bit just by adding that extra line in there kind of curls them over all right 
I think that should give me a pretty good, uh, just a lot, quick line drawing, just to kind of uh, give me some guidelines to for my watercolors. Um, it's kind of got that main shape in there. But you can see I didn't spend a whole lot of time with detail. I'm going to do that later with my watercolor. All right, so I've got my value sketch to work from. I've got my line drawing on my watercolor paper now. I've got a reference photo for color and stuff that I can look at. And uh, I think I'm ready to start painting.